keeping it real. Twelve-year Lucy Desperate is a natural problem solver. After the local homecoming queen shows up her family's struggling drugstore with a beauty disaster that Lucy helps fix, Lucy has a long line of makeover customers for every school dance and bat mitzvah. But all the makeup tips in the world won't help her save the pharmacy. If only she could find a way to make the pharmacy the center of the town again, like a place where people want to spend time, like the old days. Lucy dreams up a solution that could resuscitate the family business and help the environment too. But will Lucy's family? We stop fighting long enough to listen to a seventh grader? So, Lisa, <laughs> tell me all about your book. What's it called? My book is called My Life in Pink and Green. It's a tween novel. It's not quite YA, not quite, mm -hmm. you know, younger. Um, about a 12 year old girl named Lucy. Her family owns an independent pharmacy in Connecticut. Wow. Sort of struggling to stay in business, and she wants to save the store because she loves it. She also loves makeup, mm -hmm. so she starts doing makeovers to bring in customers. And it also has a little bit of a green, going green theme. She joins the Earth Club and finds ways to help the store through that. Wow. So now, Lisa, tell me about this main character. Like, what is, what is she like? What's her name? All the kinds. Her name's Lucy. She's 12. Um, she has a best friend named Sunny. Um, and she's just like this very optimistic. Who, what's Sunny like? Sunny is a great girl. Sunny's a nickname. Her real name is Sunita. She's an Indian oh. um, character. Cool. And Lucy's like obsessed with her like Indian culture and Lucy sort of wishes she had a big family like that because Lucy doesn't have a big family. Wow. But in any case, Lucy's really outgoing and Sunny's more reserved and then they both sort of get crushes. I'm just asking everyone I cost. I just want to be in somebody's book. That's okay. I like to write people in. Okay, right. Yeah. Maybe Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Rivera. Okay, maybe you'll be the new crush in the next book. Because there's a lot of crushes in my books. It's very middle school. Really? Yeah, always a crush. Well, you have to make me middle school. Age. Yeah, I'd make you middle school. Otherwise, uh, it'd be creepy. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, yeah. you could be like. The, <laughs> otherwise, you could be like the handsome teacher that the girls oh, in love with. That could work. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So tell me about your next book. What's going on? My here? next book, um, I think, is going to be called The Fortune Cookie Fellowship, mm -hmm. about three girls who actually live in Brooklyn. They're in seventh grade and they live in an apartment building, like a big, not like a brownstone, but like a big apartment building. Mm -hmm. And it's a snow day because you you know that snow days are really rare in New York City, so like it's a huge deal when there's a snow day. And one of the girls has um, a family Chinese restaurant and they make their own fortune cookies and they start giving out fortune cookies in the building during the snow day to sort of like meet people in the building. Did you like keep a journal when you were like middle school? Do you know like what it was like when you were a kid? I, I always tried to keep a journal and like the first week I'd be like, I'm gonna write in it every night. Mm -hmm. And then I would never write in it again. So I was not very good at journal keeping, but something about middle school just always stayed with me. I remember it very vividly. Mm -hmm. So that's why I can really get to that place. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for joining us. <laughs> thanks for having me. We'll do the Why in the world should we pick up your book instead of the next Harry Potter or the next whatever? Um, because it is very 